I. It is 8 o'clock, 8 p.m. on um, December 10th, 2019. And I have started having contractions around like 4 o'clock. This afternoon I went to the chiropractor um, around 12. And, um, and he just like did the full um, alignment and um, some pressure around my ligaments um, uh, just to like loosen them up and yeah then around yeah, like four hours later I started having contractions and um, I think this is it <laughs> we'll see um, they're like super irregular right now uh, but they are real contractions so I have had this happened once before where I thought I was in labor and then I didn't have the baby for like a week later but my due date was the 8th so I'm passed so I don't think that will happen this time um, but yeah just wanted to start this vlog and hopefully uh, have a baby um, in the next few hours I usually go I don't know around 10 to 12 hours starting from early labor so now 10 35 p.m. and I'm the contractions have kind of been about the same haven't really picked up haven't really stopped um, so I am going to try and get some sleep while I can because in the past I have um, just tried to get things going and it's the middle of the night and then I'm really tired by the time labor comes so I figure it's the middle of the night I might as well just sleep and um, until I can't handle it anymore and then I'll get up and try to get things going more but yeah I'm tired so I will uh, try to rest and hopefully my body will um, be ready when the time comes set up. It was inside out the first time and <laughs> very tiny. <laughs> but luckily Mark realized it was inside out. So it's getting there. It is now 9.30 in the morning and no baby. I was laboring most of the night. Um, I, uh, I went to bed around one and had been having contractions between like seven and 15 minutes apart. So I decided just try to try to rest as much as I could. I, um, got sick on Sunday night and so I've been sick it's now Wednesday or what day is it today? yeah Wednesday it's now Wednesday so I've been sick for a few days and um I started to feel a bit better yesterday um but I've been kind of worried about being sick and whether I would have the strength to have a baby so I'm like well it'll be better if I get better but I'm still sick so I don't know if that's what's stopping things but anyway um I so I went to bed around one and I had a headache so I took some Tylenol and I was able to sleep for about an hour and a half maybe almost two hours but the last half an hour I could feel like stronger contractions and they were like closer to five minutes apart more like four five to seven minutes apart and so then I was like, well, should I call my midwife? I don't know what to do. And I was like, well, it's the middle of the night. Maybe just wait a bit. <laughs> don't wake everybody up and make them tired. I'm like, okay. So I decided to get up and see if the contractions would be just as strong when I was up. And they weren't. They weren't as strong. Um, 
but I was still having them. So I just got up by myself and was on the ball for a bit and um, walked around a bit. Uh, just what I did. yeah, mostly just on the ball. And then um, I decided to have a bath, and so I had a bath for about half an hour, and the contractions sort of stopped, and I didn't really have any contractions while I was in the bath. And then I got out and went back to bed and um, slept for a bit longer. Still had quite a few contractions in bed, but they were like very sporadic too. Nothing, it had just been pretty irregular. No longer than a minute and um, between like, yeah. There was quite a few that were five minutes apart, but then they started going to like 15 or 11 minutes apart. So yeah, um, I've gone way over 12 hours, which is kind of my normal for early labor. So I don't know if I'm in padromal labor. I've still had a couple more contractions since I've woken up, but not anything consistent. I actually haven't really been timing them. So I'm gonna start timing them again and see, but I think, I don't know. I don't know what's going on. My body's being really weird. I'm kind of worried that maybe the baby's posterior again. So maybe I'll try doing some, cause my, um, not Grace, but Adelaide was posterior and breech, so, and kind of had a longer labor like that, but still not even this long. Um, but I have been resting a lot and not really trying to get things going, so, which I needed to. Um, anyway, so now that it's morning time, I'll, I guess I'll try to do some positions to hopefully make sure the baby's in posterior position and, I mean, not in posterior. <laughs> the baby's not posterior. And, um, yeah, I'm so really tired. <laughs> I'm tired and I haven't even got to the hard part yet. So, anyway. in the afternoon um, things have slowed down I've been having contractions every like 20 ish minutes um, and then there was yeah a while where I didn't even have any so they've really slowed down and then they're only like 30 seconds long and they were closer to a minute before so not to feel discouraged. This has definitely been my longest labor, I think. Well, my first labor was pretty long, but I think this is beating it. Um, and um, I've lost my mucus plug. I thought things would speed up, but they've just kind of slowed down. <laughs> so I uh, tried um, going on all fours to try to make sure baby's not posterior. I actually have no idea if he is or not, but I'm just wondering if maybe that's why it's slowing it down. Um, and I've been on the ball. The kids are watching a movie, so I was out there watching with them. Um, I don't know, maybe it's because all my kids are here. <laughs> but anyway, I'm just going to lie down again because I'm feeling really tired and I'm still sick so probably better if I uh, yeah over uh, just rest I guess and try to get better so yeah that's where I'm at right now and hoping that things pick up soon or at least that I can get some rest. So, so 
it is 10 7 uh, p.m. on the 11th um, I've been having a little more intense contractions there are still like the timing is irregular like anywhere from uh, 13 11 10 8 7 5 <laughs> around there minutes apart um, which is kind of normal for me I think my contractions are generally pretty irregular up until I hit transition and then it's just fast after that like less than an hour or so but it's really hard to know leading up to that what stage I'm in but um, with how strong they are I feel like it's getting close um, so we're just filling up the pool now and um, yeah as soon as that's filled up I'm gonna get in and that helps uh, helps ease the contractions a bit um, I was laying down and they were worse when I'm lying down I think so I'm just gotten up again and um, as I like move through the contractions, it doesn't seem to be as bad as they were lying down, but they're still stronger. So, um, yeah, I think that's it. just getting the pool filled up, and then I can get in, and it's the best part. <laughs> Feels so good to get in the water. It's just such a relief. Um, so, yeah, hopefully. This won't be too much longer. that we got for the pool is a little bit short so we're gonna <laughs> fill up the tub old school style with pots and bowls are you building a bridge of towels <laughs> did you get those from the clean cover no. uh, the dirty ones okay good <laughs> or are you still awake The first, the first of the water. I feel like this is gonna take a while. <laughs> So new dilemma, um, Mark's filled the tub about a foot and we're out of hot water. <laughs> so now we're gonna have to boil water, I guess, to fill it, which is gonna take quite a bit. And I really wanna get in right now, but I can't. So yeah, this is um, not so good. <laughs> I was really worried about this and I really wanted to get hot water on demand before um, we did this but I had to just spin, I don't know, we didn't so now we're dealing with out of hot water. Thank you. 
I just wanted to mention the, that I was having a lot of back labor and um, what really helped is putting pressure on my back while I'm having a contraction. So Mark would just push on it and that like cuts the pain by 50%. <laughs> but um, that just made me think that the baby was posterior because that's what happened with Adelaide. Um, my labor was really irregular and then um, I had a lot of back pain and and um, I needed that pressure and she ended up being posterior and breech. So I'm pretty sure the baby's not breech um, but he could be posterior. So anyway um, after I called my midwife she gave me some positions to go in and um, I was doing those for a couple of hours and now I'm feeling a lot more um, of the pressure or whatever in um, in the front and not as much in the back. So that's a good sign. Um, and yeah, I think that was it. Just waiting for the water to be filled up so I can go in. They're getting strong. Oh, 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 oh,
the baby's in your life. I can't believe that you just pushed your baby out like that. <laughs> you didn't make a sound. <laughs> it's very quiet. Yeah. <laughs>